Welcome. In this video, we'll cover how you can track what your team works on and how to set up Clockify so you can run your business more efficiently. So let's get started. Before inviting your team, you first need to set up projects and tasks for them to track. Let's create a project for the sales team. If you work for clients instead, you'll probably set up projects differently, but for simplicity's sake, we'll go ahead like this. Now let's say we want to know how much sales spends on meetings versus emails, so we'll create those two tasks. Now when a team member tracks time, they can select a project and a task on it, and you on the admin side can go to report and see data broken down by project, user and task. If you need to drill down into data even further, there are three more levels of categorization you can use. For example, you can group projects by clients for a high level overview. Next, your team can type what exactly they're working on in the description field if you need details. And lastly, you can add tags to time entries and then filter and break down data by them in reports. For example, you can use tags to indicate type of work, client, overtime, time status, or anything else. In case you need more than these five levels, you can define your own custom fields for people to fill. You can create projects and tasks manually, or you can import everything from a spreadsheet file here. Now that we've set up projects, we can invite our team. Click add new member and enter their email. To invite multiple people at once, separate emails with a comma and click add. Then each user will receive an email with the invite link. You can also copy it from here and send it to them personally. When a user opens the link, they'll be asked to create an account after which they can start tracking time in your workspace. All they need to do is select the project and start and stop the timer as they work on activities. Alternatively, they can open a timesheet and add time manually for projects and tasks they've worked on. All time they track will appear in the reports as soon as they add it. In addition to the web, they can also track time via the desktop app, browser extension, or mobile app. Those apps come with useful features like reminders, idle detection, offline mode, and more, so be sure to check them out. To learn more about time tracking, be sure to check out our other videos and the link is in the description. Now that we have users, let's cover who can do what. By default, everyone you invite is a regular member, meaning they can track time for themselves and maybe have a view-only access to other stuff. When you click on role, you can give someone an admin role so they can see and edit everything, or you can give them a manager role so they can view and edit time for specific users or projects. If someone is no longer in your company, you can deactivate their access here. Don't worry, all their data will remain, only they won't be able to log into your workspace anymore. You can also control who can access what projects and tasks. For example, everyone can track time on public projects. But if you make a project private, you first need to add users to it in the Access tab and only then can they track time on it. You can also assign users to tasks so only assignees can track time on them. Now you can either grant project access to people one by one, or you can add a group and everyone in that group will automatically have access. For example, you can define a sales group, add people to it, and then add that group to all the projects they need. Then when a new member joins, all you have to do is add them to the group and they gain access to everything they need automatically. Lastly, there are global permissions. Here in the Permissions tab in Settings, you can define whether regular users can create tasks or see other people's time entries. You can also disable editing time past a certain date, force timer so people can't manually add and edit time, allow managers to edit time for their members and more. Okay, now that everything is set up and the team is tracking time, it's time to analyze stuff. First, let's cover dashboard, namely the team project option. 
This section here gives you some general statistics on where the time goes by day and by project. And down here you can see the breakdown of your team's activity. This first column shows you all the currently running timers. If a person doesn't have a timer running, you'll do their last activity instead. The column next to it shows you each user's time broken down by project for the selected time range. In this case, this week, which you can change by clicking on it. If you look at team activity often, you can pin it to the top of the page like this. Next, to gain insight into someone's day, you can open calendar and choose a user here and you'll visually see how their day and week looked like and see if they had any gaps in their track time. If your company has a lot of field workers who visit client sites, you can enable GPS tracking and then when people track time from their phone, their location will be recorded and you can go to the activity location page to see all the visited sites. You can also click on a user to replay their route for that day. Location is recorded any time a timer is started, stopped or a user changes their location. You can also enable screenshots. Then as you use the desktop application, a screenshot will be taken every five minutes while you have the timer running. And on the activity page, you can retrace how your day looked by looking at the recorded screenshots. Let's now cover reports. Summary report summarizes all the data your team tracked and breaks it down by any category you need. For example, you can say, I wish to see what people worked on last month, broken down by project, sorted by who tracked the most time. Or you can filter the report by a single user and then group data by date and tag the seed distribution of activities. If you have hourly rates, you can also compare how much money each user generated via billable hours versus what they cost in terms of labor. The detailed report shows you all individual time entries everyone made. This report is useful for editing where you can edit entries one by one or update everything in bulk. There's also the weekly report and it shows you a timesheet like view of each week grouped either by project or user. You can export each report as PDF or Excel, share it via a public link and schedule to receive it each day or week via email here. Now the quality of reports depends on the data people put in. So let's cover admin tools you have at your disposal to ensure data integrity. If you rely on information in the description field, you can make sure everyone fills it in by making it a required field in workspace settings so no one can make an entry without it. You can also run a time audit in detailed report to find uncategorized entries or entries that are way too long or short. If people forget to track time, you can set up daily or weekly targets and people will get an email reminder when they track less or more than expected. You can also receive an email when someone tracks too much or too little time by selecting either admin or managing when making a reminder. Another way you can track overages is by using alerts. For example, you can create an alert that will notify project members or task assignees when they track more time than what was estimated on a project or a task. If your team needs to officially submit their timesheet for approval, enable approvals and then your team can submit their time weekly, which managers can reject or approve. Once approved, no further edits are possible. You can also enable time off if you wish to track your team's requests, leaves and accruals. First, you'll define your time off policies like vacation or sick leave and holidays. Then teammates can request leave, their manager can approve them and everyone can see who's away and when and each member can see how much time off they have left. As you can see, Clockify helps millions of companies better manage their teams and productivity. Once you're aware of where your team spends their time and energy, you'll be able to better plan activities and improve efficiency. Be sure to check out our other videos to see how you can improve personal productivity, manage hourly rates and improve business processes.